How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another week in my life as a medical student. This week is absolutely crazy. I immediately start off with my endocrinology exam. I don't want to take an exam this morning. And then I start my last block of my first year of medical school. We're moving on to our reproductive block, which is the last block of my first year of medical school. Not only that, but I get a new lens for my camera. Uh, and I even teach my classmates how to backflip. As always, thank you all so much for joining me in my journey as a medical student. Make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, subscribe. So without further ado, let's get right into the vlog. I don't want to take an exam this morning. Morning guys, I have my endocrinology exam in about an hour. Um, I totally just slept in. I wanted to be kind of up and a little bit ready by now so I could review some stuff, uh, but that didn't happen and that's okay. I do feel like I kind of slacked off the last few weeks just because there was less content in endocrinology and so I kind of took it as some downtime, focused on research, but hopefully it goes okay today. But you know what, I do need to be on campus in like half an hour, so I'm gonna get ready to go and I'll catch up with you guys after the exam. Let's go. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed you. I missed you. Buddy. <laughs> I missed you too. <laughs> oh. oh, man, guys. All right, guys. So I just got home from my exam. Honestly, I definitely did not do as well as my last exam, the GI exam. I think that endo was easier than GI, but I know as a fact, after talking with some classmates, which I need to not do, I missed at least five questions, at least, which is unfortunate. Hopefully I didn't miss too many more than that. Basically, I just changed a couple of my answers. There was like one pharmacology one that I got wrong just because I just straight up did not know the mechanism of the drug. And then there were just some where, I don't know, I, I changed my answer on a couple of them, which is such a bad habit never had that habit in undergrad and then uh just some of them i just straight up didn't know honestly i just really hope i pass i'll find out in a few hours but i'm a little bit nervous and so the exciting thing about finishing endo is that we're moving on to our reproductive block which is the last block of my first year of medical school i'm seriously so stoked this block is gonna be a little bit shorter i think it's two and a half weeks until our next exam but for today i'm going to take most of today off i think i'm going to film a video uh, about how to study for some pre-med classes and then I'm going to a class barbecue picnic thing at about 6 p.m. And so yeah, I'm just gonna take the day to relax and then I'll jump back into studying tomorrow. All right guys, so I just woke up from a nap and our grades were posted. <laughs> okay, I passed, let's go. Check it out guys, 83%. 83%, not bad. Uh, I was actually well below the class mean. My class actually did really, really well. Someone got 100. The class mean was actually a 90, so I'm actually 7% under the class mean, uh, which means my class did really well. Of course, I am happy with the pass, but man, I know I could have actually gotten a higher score because I walked out of that exam knowing a few that I missed that I just like I knew the answers to and I just like changed my answers and I missed them for basically just dumb reasons and I guess maybe just test anxiety reasons but in a school with a pass fail system it doesn't matter I know that I learned a bunch of endocrinology and now I'm moving on to the reproductive block which is my last block of my first year of medical school and knock on wood but I've passed all my exams so far which is very fortunate. I'm really happy about it. And now I've just got one more to pass before my first year is done. Well, technically there's actually a final as well, but I'm not thinking about that right now. Anyway, I'm actually gonna go to the park and meet up with some classmates for a little bit of a barbecue. So I'll just catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I just wanna take a second to tell you about the sponsor of this week's vlog, Verb Energy. So in case you didn't know, Nurses Appreciation Week is running from May 6th to May 12th. 
And the aim of Nurses Appreciation Week is to shine a spotlight on the incredible nurses across the country who have devoted their lives to bettering the lives of others. And as the COVID-19 pandemic continues, we're seeing nurses struggle with incredible challenges to their mental health, their personal well-being. But despite all this, nurses and other healthcare professionals are still continuing to step forward. They're not giving up and they're not backing down. Last year, Verb Energy gave over 600,000 Verb bars to healthcare workers on the front lines across 50 different states. And this year, they're running a special offer to celebrate our healthcare heroes. Verb Energy bars are infused with organic green tea, allowing each bar to have the same amount of caffeine as an espresso, but without the crash after. They're a great alternative to your second or third coffee of the day. Each bar is only 90 calories, and they contain familiar ingredients to provide a great source of energy, keeping you revitalized for the day. Not to mention they're gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. For me, these are a really good grab-and-go snack. As you guys know, I have exams every few weeks, and when I'm heading out the door, I can just grab a bar or two, throw them in my backpack, and I can eat them on my way to my exam, or even while I'm walking into the room. And one of the coolest things about Verb Energy Bars is that they're delivered straight to your door. They have a bunch of delicious flavors, including blueberry crisp, vanilla latte, salted peanut butter, double chocolate, lemon raspberry, and coconut chai. I personally really like vanilla flavored things, which is why I have an entire bag of it but they're regularly adding new flavors like peppermint mocha and chocolate chip banana bread. This year for Nurses Appreciation Week, Verb wants to continue to celebrate our healthcare heroes. So if you guys use my link, you'll get the Verb Energy Starter Kit for only $10. That is one full bag of Verb bars plus four samples of their top flavors. And you get free shipping. So again, make sure to check out Verb. It's only $10 for the starter kit and you get to help support our healthcare heroes. Thank you again to Verb Energy for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So last night was a lot of fun. I basically went to the park with a bunch of my classmates and we had pizza and just hung out, which was really, really nice. I even taught one of my classmates how to do a backflip, which was absolutely insane. But I have had a lazy morning. I had such a hard time getting out of bed. You guys know I've been waking up between five and six to do Anki and start studying but I think all that lack of sleep started to catch up with me because I was so tired this morning. So honestly, I just laid in bed until about 8.30, got up, did some video editing, and I still have a bunch of Anki left to do. But right now, I need to head to the dentist for an appointment that I've been pushing off for weeks. Also, I'm unsure if Chewy's been in the vlog very much this week, so here's a little bit of Chewy content. All right, guys, so I just got back from the dentist and it went a lot longer than I thought it was gonna go because we had to do some fittings and stuff for a new tray and so I picked up some coffee and food on the way back because I PBL in like five minutes so I knew I wasn't gonna have time to make food and make coffee. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty good. I really like that every single time I see my dentist, he always asks me, uh, can I call you doctor yet? And you know, the answer is always no, but I'm really excited for the day that I could actually say yes. Anyways, like I said, I've got PBL for the next three hours or so, and it's gonna be a reproductive case probably because we're starting the reproductive block. And I haven't even started content for reproductive, so I'm probably gonna have no differentials for what's going on in the case today. But either way, it's gonna be a good way to learn and it should be a lot of fun. Good morning guys. It is about 5.15 in the morning. So as a lot of you guys know, I've been maintaining waking up at 5 a.m. Uh, it's become more of like a between five and six kind of thing. Yesterday I slept in, like I said, because I was super tired. I think it was catching up with me, but you know what? I have to do this thing at 8 a.m. this morning. I'll tell you more about in a couple of hours. So I'm just gonna try to be productive for the next two hours or so.
Morning guys, so this morning was actually pretty productive. I worked on my presentation on pelvic inflammatory diseases as well as a video that I'm editing and I did some Anki cards and now I'm actually gonna meet up with some classmates for our Food Meets Health class, which is like basically where we do cooking and stuff while going through different patient cases. And I think the focus on this morning's meal is on pregnancy and hypertension, I believe. And as usual, I have no idea what we're cooking, but I do have some ingredients I have to bring and I'm bringing Chewy with me as well. And I think I have to meet them in like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna pack up and I'll catch up with you guys later. So yeah, the bleeds, yeah. Exactly. I was not gonna lie. that thing here. <laughs> Nice. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> smart. That's like the smartest. Like thing with that money, a lot of my money is like um <laughs> is that I've had before. Just so adorable. So mixed with my loans. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got home, it was a lot of fun, it's always nice to see my classmates, and Chewy had a lot of fun as well, and the food was really good, and so now what I think I'm going to do is pack up some stuff, get some laundry together, and I think I'm going to drop Chewy off so he can play with his brother, and then I'm going to go to my parents' house to do some laundry, and then like while the laundry's going, I'm just going to watch some Boards and Beyond. Before I go, you guys already know I got to make some coffee. The best coffee ever, guys. And here's all the laundry that I'm gonna take to my parents' house. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot to charge the Roomba. Alright, buddy, you ready to get going? Alright, guys, so I am at my parents' house. I have taken over my brother's room since he's at work. And I'm gonna try to get some schoolwork done. I've got my laundry going, and I'm probably just gonna be here for the next few hours doing some Boards and Beyond videos, doing my laundry. Maybe I'll get bored and do some video editing as well. Uh, but yeah, that's the plan for the entire evening. And cue the study time lapse. Alright guys, so I just finished up my laundry. I got through a few Boards and Beyond videos and I had some dinner with my parents and now I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna go pick up Chewy and just relax for the rest of the night. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, so it's just past 5.30 and I had a hard time waking up this morning. I kept snoozing my alarms every single time they went off at five. Uh, but now I'm gonna get up, try to get some stuff done, my Anki cards and some video editing as well. And then at nine, I have to go pick up my uh, new upper retainer from the dentist. And then I've got class at 10. So let's try to have a productive morning. So just keep in mind as we look at the binding proteins that T4 and T3 are gonna be bound to TBG and two others. All right guys, we're currently on a break between classes and I actually ran to my PO box because I got another lens in the mail that I had ordered for this camera. I really like the lens that's on the camera and it's really good for like shots like this, but this lens will be better for things like when I'm like walking around and um, you know, like taking steps and the camera gets shaky. I don't know if you guys noticed in this vlog at all, anytime I held the camera, it was like pretty shaky, at least compared to like my vlogs when I was on the iPhone is because the lens that's on the camera doesn't have OSS. You guys have probably noticed in this vlog, I've had my camera like stationary a lot more than in my previous vlogs when I was using my iPhone. So I think this is gonna be really nice. Here is the lens. It is a 10 to 18 millimeter, which will be nice because also the lens I have right now is just like 16, so it's just stationary. And I actually saved a lot of money on this because I got a used one, which I've never ordered used items off Amazon, but I had already spent so much money on the camera, I didn't want to spend like a lot of money on another lens. And so, yeah, it looks like really good condition, so we're gonna give it a try. All right, so this is the new lens. Uh, I can immediately tell that it is way more wide. Like, this is a lot more like my iPhone lens. Um, I'll have to check. It's hard to tell on here how good the focus is. You guys know that like this lens that I've been using has a really good depth of field, 
um, which is why like everything behind me is usually blurry when I'm on this lens, which I really like. Uh, but this one is going to be, like I said, better for vlogging. I don't think it handles low light as well as this one does. So that's why it's good, you know, if I'm investing in cameras and lenses to have different ones for different purposes. All right, so I actually just took the camera off of the Gorillapod and it is a lot easier to hold. It's a lot lighter. This lens is definitely smaller and lighter. So I think in general, this is gonna be a better lens for vlogging, at least if I'm like walking around like I am right now, right? Uh, but the other lens is still amazing. You guys have seen the quality. So that'd be better if I'm just like sitting stationary. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna mess around. This is kind of me exploring more of like the videography world. I never really took it too seriously. Um, you know, I was just using my phone all the time. But this has been a lot of fun to learn more about like the different cameras and different lenses. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't even realize I might not even have been at full lens. This thing can zoom in and out. Wow, this is so neat. Uh... Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's almost 5 p.m. on Friday night. Uh, I basically spent the last few hours since class working on editing this vlog. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've definitely put a lot more time into this week's vlog than you know any of my previous vlogs. And I think it's because with this new camera, I've been a lot more motivated on really trying to like work on my videography, editing. I've been getting inspiration from other vloggers. And again, with this new camera, I think I've just been more motivated and I was really excited to edit and work on this video this week. In fact, usually when I make a thumbnail, I usually just choose like a still shot from the vlog, but I actually went out to like a random library this afternoon and actually took a thumbnail image. But I do really hope you guys liked the way that I filmed and edited this week's vlog and I would love your guys' feedback in the comment section below. Anyways, I wanna finish editing this vlog so I can kinda of just focus on schoolwork for the entire weekend. But I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in another week of medical school. The finish line is right over the horizon. I have about three weeks left until I am done with my first year. This is seriously so insane and I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. But like I said, I'm gonna end the vlog here so make sure to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.